Good morning. This is your media report for Monday, May the 15th, 2017. I'm Sergeant Chuck Breen, Media Relations Officer for the St. John Police Force. Since the 12th of May, 2017, the St. John Police Force has responded to 409 calls for service. We'd like to hear from anyone that has any information concerning any of our calls or investigations. We can be reached at 506-648-3333 or at our email, police at stjohn.ca. Or you can do it anonymously through the Provincial Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477 or on their website at crimenb.ca. On Friday afternoon at 1.30 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call of theft in progress at the Walmart on Westmoreland Road. Police were advised by staff that a male had come into the store, selected a number of items, placed them in a bag that he had brought with him, and then left the store without paying for the items. The male was followed by store security and was observed running across Westmoreland Road and going into McAllister Mall. Responding officers searched the mall and located a male matching the description of the suspect. The male had the articles from Walmart with him as well as some articles from a store in the mall. As a result, police arrested the 29-year-old male for theft. He was held to appear in court. On Friday evening at 9.05 p.m., St. John Police responded to a call from the Regent Motel on Ocean Westway to remove a male from a room. Staff advised police that a male had entered a room that was not his and was currently inside. Police located the male and discovered that he was on a court-ordered curfew to be in his residence between 9 p.m. and 7 a.m. Seeing that the motel room was not his residence, police arrested the 32-year-old male for a violation of a court order. He was held to appear in court. On Friday night at 3.38 a.m., a St. John police officer while on patrol on Hilliard Street noted a group of people walking along the street who were arguing quite loudly with each other. When the officer stopped to talk to the group, he noted that a female in the group was extremely intoxicated and was yelling at a male. As a result, police detained the 32-year-old female under the Intoxicated Persons Attention Act. Further investigation revealed that she was on a court order not to consume alcohol. Subsequently, she was charged for violating her court order. She was transported to the St. John Police Station where she was held to appear in court. On Saturday morning at 6.23 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of shots being fired at a residence on Park Street Extension. The caller advised police that someone in a burgundy-colored van had fired a weapon at their residence and as a result damaged a window in the siding of the house. Police checked the area and could not locate the suspect vehicle. No one in the residence suffered any injuries. This matter is under investigation by the St. John Police Force Major Crime Unit. On Saturday night at 3.09 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a motor vehicle accident on Princess Street. Responding officers noted that a vehicle was parked on the sidewalk and had been driven into a light pole. Witnesses at the scene advised officers that the vehicle had been driven by an intoxicated female who had just left a house party on Princess Street and drove the car off the road onto the sidewalk and struck the pole. Police located the driver of the vehicle and at that time noted that she displayed signs of being impaired. She was transported to the St. John Police Station where a breathalyzer test was administered. As a result of the readings, police arrested a 26-year-old female for impaired driving. She was released to appear in court on a later date. On Sunday night at 2.09 a.m., St. John Police responded to a call of a motor vehicle accident on the viaduct at St. Patrick Street. Responding officers noted a vehicle on its roof on the northbound lane. There was a male standing on the road beside the vehicle. Officer spoke to the male who was bleeding and also displayed signs of being impaired. The male was transported to the St. John Regional Hospital by paramedics. He was treated and released for minor injuries. Investigation revealed that the male was the driver and lone occupant of the vehicle when it rolled over. He was transported to the St. John Police Station where a breathalyzer test was administered. As a result of the readings, police charged a 56-year-old male for impaired driving. He was released to appear in court on a later date. The St. John Police Force will be recognizing Police Week from May 15th to May 19th. The theme this year will be on education and awareness of the danger of distracted driving. Our message to motorists is to just drive, hands on the wheels and eyes on the road. Information will be distributed to motorists by both our Community Response Unit and Traffic Unit during the week, along with community engagement. It will also be an opportunity to remind motorists that the fine under the Motor Vehicle Act is $172.50 for talking or texting on your phone while operating a motor vehicle. This will conclude the media report for Monday, May the 15th, 2017. Have a great day and remember, let's be careful out there.